check this out. Grapefruit seed, grape seed, also pomegranate. They didn't put that on the box for some reason. They didn't leave it there. Anyway. That's a good one. Yeah, that's on there. But pomegranate seed. So we take the, the black cumin oil, the black cumin seed, the grape, the pomegranate seed, we take those two, we infuse it in the coffee bean. We're the only ones in the entire world that does this. It's a nine step process, nine steps to do it. We had to create, buy and create the machinery to do this. It's taken us months upon months upon months upon months to do this. So we then infuse it because each coffee bean, do y'all know that a bean, coffee bean is a seed? Do y'all know that? Mm -hmm. All right, if you plant that seed, it'll grow a tree. Did y'all know that? All right, cool. You didn't know? So all like, like an acorn is a seed. You plant an acorn, what'll it grow? Tree. Oak tree, all right? All right, so these are just seeds. So this seed, it has honeycombs. So if you put it under a microscope, it looks like a bunch of honeycombs. So we just take it and saturate and infuse that seed after we bake it, and we don't burn the seeds. So most coffee beans, people burn them. 90 plus percent of coffee out there is burnt coffee. So if I wish you guys could follow me around the world because I do these taste tests with our coffee. Like in Europe, I, I think it's more than eight out of 10. Like in Canada, it's more than eight, it's like nine out of 10, drink coffee. And you know, we say suggested six to eight ounces, they like two to three ounces. Mm -hmm. They want strong, I'm like, golly. <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> but I always get the house coffee. So I want the competitors, I want anybody's coffee. So every time I get this coffee out, all you're gonna have to do for anybody that drinks coffee is you gotta take your coffee, let them taste it first. They gotta taste this first. Rain coffee first. Everybody say rain coffee first. Rain rain coffee first. first. All right, so the fused is the name of the line. They gotta taste it first. Then they taste theirs. When they taste theirs, they're gonna freak out. <laughs> Guaranteed, every time. Every time they taste ours, the palates, because of the, we don't, we have a proprietary roasting process that nobody in the world has. Now, it's my roasters. I've been dealing with these guys for years that do my roasting. They don't burn our beans. They keep the nutrient value high in the bean. Then we're gonna infuse that bean with those oils. Then we're gonna pre-brew these beans. So even though that's in an instant pack, when you drink it, it's gonna taste like you freshly brewed it. Isn't that cool? Mm -hmm. Talking to my, where my coffee drinkers again? I gotta make sure I see y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Most of y'all over here. <laughs> All right. So you get this, um, so they, they taste it, and what ends up happening, because almost everybody else burns their beans when they taste ours first, and then they taste theirs, that thick coat of burnt goes over their tongue and they never forget it. They could be like, I love my coffee. I do my own grind every morning. I go through this whole, does anybody know anybody that goes through this whole spiritual process? <laughs> <laughs> and then you know, the machine's like <laughs> You might know anybody got a machine like that, right? <laughs> Oh, this is the most blend is from the high Peruvian mountains. You don't understand. And then you go, okay, great, 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 great. Get yours. Hey, I'm going to make some of mine. You just have some hot water. Everybody say hot water. Hot water. Hot water. You're always going to be looking for hot water. <laughs> the number one thing you want more than anything, you just gonna, you're going to see it. You're going to freak out. Can I get some hot water? Every, I don't, you always see people go, hot water, please, hot water. You go up to Starbucks, they're going to say, what kind of coffee you like? You say, hot water, please. <laughs> right? And they'll give you a cup of hot water. And if you go back there all the time, they're like, then you tip them every now and then. Just give them a little tip. Give them a buck. They'll be like, okay, I'll give you hot water seven, eight more times. Right? So you get, you get hot water. What do you want all the time? Hot water. Hot water. Hot water. So you just get the hot water and you do the taste test. You're going to win. Nine out of ten. It's like clockwork. And it's going to be like taking candy from a kid. Okay. Three boxes. Three boxes. Right? So if he's drinking around three a day, how many boxes is he going to need in a month? Three. Three. All right. $22 U.S. a box. I got that? $22 U.S. a box. 17 CV. Three boxes times 17 is what? 51. 51. That gets you your 50 CV. 
So I'm gonna get him set up on a three box auto shift. That's for his personal consumption, right? Now, if you get a team member on the left and one on the right, right? And they get on three boxes and they're already drinking coffee, what? Anyway. So we're not getting them to do something they're not doing, we're just transferring their dollars. How many of y'all like that? Yeah. And we're gonna transfer, you're already spending money anyway. But see, and then if somebody's like, well, you know, I really love my coffee, I get down with people on them sometimes. They go, man, but I really love my coffee. I go, listen to me. <laughs> they go, what, 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 what? I go, why are you so loyal to your coffee? And they go, because you know, I love it. I said, how much did your coffee pay you? How much can that coffee contribute to your family's financial future? This coffee can set you free. So this might just be a coffee box to you, but it's freedom to me. Now I can make it freedom to you if I can get you to think right. So quit being so loyal to a coffee that won't pay you. If this coffee can set you free, shouldn't you at least give it a shot to be your coffee? Yeah. <laughs> how many think you should give it a shot to be your coffee? Mm -hmm, yeah. See, that's how I get that. <laughs> when I'm talking to people, that's why I'm gonna win more than most people because my belief system is ridiculous. <laughs> you understand me, Travis? Oh, it's yeah. off the charts. When I'm talking to you, I'm all in on this. And see, what I know, because I've been dealing with this since 2005, I have too many testimonials that will tell me just what one of these herbs will do. Right? So just with one herb that says Ganoderma. Anybody ever heard of Ganoderma? Anybody? Ganoderma is a red mushroom. Some people call it Rishi. Some people call it Lingshi. Some people call it Yangshi. Depends on what part of Asia you're in. Right? But a lot of people know it as Rishi. The scientific name for it is Ganoderma. Gano stands for bright, shiny derma. What's derma stand for? Skin. Skin. So that herb creates bright, shiny skin. Mm -hmm. oh. That's what that herb is most known for. Bright, shiny skin. How I many y'all want some bright, shiny skin, right? Oh, okay, so we got some bright, shiny skin coffee. All right? So that's in this box. That herb, if you look it up, is known as the king of herbs. It's number one on the pharmacopoeia. There's no other herb that's higher than it. It adapts to everything. The most people say, well, explain to me Ganoderma. I say, this is the thing I can explain the most. It's super, super oxygenated. Super. It just creates a lot of oxygen. Now, the problem that most people have with coffee is not the benefits that they like with coffee. Why do most people like coffee? Energy. But it's what the energy turns into. Crash. It turns into acid, which makes it crash. What I've seen, this is just my personal <clears throat> thing. I'm not going to get into scientifically proving this. I don't have to. I'm not going to make medical claims. I'm not going to make any claims. Everybody understand that? Say, Jay's not making claims. Say it. Jay's not making claims. Are right, you recording that? So it's it. on tape. I got it. <laughs> I've just seen. What it looks like to me is that the Ganoderma helps neutralize that crash. So as it begins to go here, the Ganoderma just kind of like keeps it there. Then, everybody say then. 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 We put the black cumin seed oil in that joint. We put the black cumin seed oil. Oh, <laughs> so the black cumin seed is the king of seeds. So we got the king of herbs and the king of seeds in one product. Black. <laughs> nobody, everybody say nobody. nobody. Nobody has it. Nobody in the world's got that. Then we've added these other seeds with their other powerhouse properties. So we're attacking any negative effects with these herbs and these seeds. How many of y'all like that? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. We just do it. So you won't, a lot of times when people drink coffee, they, they kind of get the little sour stomach. Who's ever got it before? Yeah. You're not going to get that with this. <laughs> this ain't going to happen. I gave my mother-in-law some this morning. She loves my other coffee brand. So I slid this in last night. I went home to my mother-in-law and said, Mama, she's like, oh. <laughs> and I had my other one sitting beside her. She was like, like, you know, like she was cheating on or something. Let <laughs> me put this over here where this one can't see. <laughs> I woke up this morning. She goes, yo. My mother's Spanish. She goes, it's delicioso. 
It's delicious. So anyway, that's the gig with this car. Anybody got any questions? Awesome. Awesome.